Ken's neighborhood. Okay, so Ken, um, give us two simple ideas that anyone that wants to do something on a bigger scale, based on your less life lessons that all that you've achieved. Well, I can tell you one thing. I've always said it's easier to accomplish the impossible than it is the ordinary. I mean, that's just a fact. And the reason is that when you do the impossible or what people think, oh my God, how are they going to do that? You have a wow factor to it. People start saying, hey, you know, there's got to be something here. And they try to, you know, investigate it. They don't just say, oh, take it for granted and forget it. They look at it. They, they listen to what you're Would it be say. safe to say it's easier to raise a million dollars than to try to go raise ten or 20000 because people are going to pay more attention? Everybody's if used to you raising ten or twenty. You know, it's easier to raise a million. It's easier to get a million people out like we're doing for Hands Across California than it is to try and get 20 people to stand someplace. You know, the key is to do something that gets people's attention. You can't sell anything to anybody unless you get their attention. I said that last year at Sang, and I'll tell you, it's the truth. And so you've got to do things that are big ideas, and then you have to remember something about a big idea. There's a great Thornton Wilder quote. He says, every great thing balances at all times on the, right, on the razor edge of disaster. At all times on the razor edge of disaster. Anything big you're doing is going to be fraught with problems. And you have to realize, if you believe in it, you've got to fight your way through those issues. You, there is always a solution. There's always a way to make it work. And I never give up. I never take no for an answer. I never give up. And I really, really concentrate on the idea that it's much easier to do the impossible than the ordinary. Uh, we are the world. So when you guys did that with Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, Lionel Richie, the, what, did you have 28 days to pull all those famous 28 people? 28 days and all kinds of issues. The night before we did We Are the World, uh, the husband of one of the, one of the performers, big star, came to me and said, the rockers are going home. They don't like the song. Uh, they don't want to stand on the stage next to the non-rockers. They think it'll make them look less hip. And... Uh, you know, I said, hey, go if you have to, you know, but they went to Springsteen. Springsteen said, I came out here to feed people. I came out here, you know, to create something special. I'm not going anywhere. And they all would have looked stupid if they had, you know, if they'd walked away and Springsteen was still there. They wanted to stand next to Bruce would it, Springsteen. Would it be a safe assumption is maybe getting like a big anchor tenant like a Springsteen and all your projects? I just noticed you got Bill Clinton and Ryan Seacrest and Clear Channel. And to Quincy Jones. And Quincy Jones. Just and to Mark support, Harmon. To and others for hands across California. Yeah, there are magnet artists. There are artists that when you say, oh, I got him or he's endorsing this or he's part of it or she is, or whoever, that, that brings the other people to it. It gives you legitimacy. And it's not just big people. It's sometimes it's big companies. On, on Hands Across California, we had you know, Yahoo and AT&T and uh, Southern California Edison and Clear Channel, all these people. You know, they give you credibility, and you look for those ones that are magnets that bring the others to it and make the whole thing look very real. All right. Uh, one quick last idea, 30 seconds or less, that someone could learn from your iconic career as a business builder, as a big promoter, as achieving the impossible? Well, my big tenet is something called the magic of threes, and I always push that. It takes at least three impressions to get anybody's attention and make them take action. Three impressions in a concentrated period of time. The magic of threes. Look around. Look it up on the internet. You'll see. I, I well, like, use, give the example of Lionel Richie, what you did with yeah. him, Power of Three. Lionel Richie at the Olympics, for example, had four billion people watching him there, and it didn't advance his career at all because it was a single event. And the single event by itself doesn't give you what you need. So, you know, we, we had nothing else around it. Six months later, we had a whole series of much smaller things, but in a concentrated period of time. He hosted the American Music Awards. He won some awards. We recorded We Are the World that night. He was on the cover of TV Guy. He was in magazines. He released a record. All of a sudden, all these things came together. Now, I guarantee you, Four billion people didn't see all those things. And yet those things concentrated in a short period of time, more than three in this case, expanded his career tremendously. That's what gave it the big leap. And what's your website? My website is kencragen.com. Please go there. So if you happen to be watching this and you're looking for a phenomenal speaker, check out kencragen.com. He is phenomenal. He's achieved some big stuff. And uh, you'll achieve more big things by following some of his advice. Is your book even still for sale anymore? Or? Not anymore, but I'm working on the next one. So right. Check out KenCragen.com. This is Larry Benet. Until we connect again.